Hello and welcome to this video blog. My name is Noah. Now in this video, I'm gonna be talking about managing stress and heavy workloads. Now stress can be something that's really difficult to tackle, especially at university. You'll probably find the majority of stress in your life will come from tasks and work that you need to complete. Now my first tip for everyone is to write absolutely everything down. Every little task that you need to complete, write it down on a little post-it note, you can have more than one, and then stick it up on your wall or somewhere where you can see it. So now you've got your list of everything that you need to do, you need to break every little thing down into smaller chunks and more manageable tasks. After you've done this, you can set yourself little deadlines for when each task needs to be completed. So you've got your tasks, you've got your deadlines, now all you need to do is just get to work. Make sure that you have all the necessary materials that you need. It's also ideal if you have a clean and tidy environment in which you can work in. Now when you're working through each task, you want to make sure that you're hydrated and that you take regular breaks to give yourself a little bit of a rest. Now after you've done that, you should be feeling a little bit more relaxed and feel like you've got yourself organised. Now my next tip is more of a stress relief tip. And this is something that a lot of people overlook, and that's exercise. Now getting fresh air and the right amount of exercise is really, really important to keeping you healthy, but also it's a great stress reliever. Exercise can be anything from going for a walk in the park, to going for a run, or doing something like a punch bag or boxing. Now me and my housemate, we actually made our little homemade punch bag, so that was a good, really good way for us to relieve stress. So yeah, I'd say about 30 minutes of exercise a day, and you'll be beginning to feel healthier and happier and feel that a lot more relaxed after you get those sort of that stress out of your system. Now my next tip is something that a lot of people probably won't be too keen on and that's taking cold showers. Now I found that taking a cold shower can really really help relieve stress, you feel much more refreshed afterwards. Like the first five, ten seconds the water is absolutely freezing and you're kind of like <gasps> like gasping for air but um, it actually feels really good and like after like 30 seconds or so the water just feels fine and you get used to it but I found that it's really really good for relieving stress and making you feel good afterwards. Now my next tip for relieving stress is probably a bit of an obvious one a lot of people laugh at me when I say this that's meditation. Now I find that meditation is so 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 relaxing and it's something that you should do anyway even when you're not stressed but it can really, really relieve the symptoms of stress and make you feel much, much more relaxed. And you can do it anyway, you can do it at home. Um, I do believe that the university also runs yoga classes. Now yoga is slightly different to meditation, but again, it's those sort of stress relief techniques that you learn. A lot of people do overlook as well, eating a healthy, balanced diet. Now, I think this is something that people should aim for anyway, even when you're not stressed. But eating the right things can really make you feel much, much better in yourself um, and you get the best sort of performance out of your body. Going out and socialising is also really important. Um, seeing friends, talking to friends, especially if you feel stressed, like talking things through with your mates going to the pub, going to the park, like just socialising and have a good group of, having a good group of supportive friends around you can be really helpful during stressful times. Now if you do feel like your work is really, really getting on top of you and you're struggling, um, you can always talk to your lecturers, always very supportive and understanding. There's also a welfare team at the university, so you can go to them at any time if you're struggling, if you're feeling stressed and they will offer support and be able to help you out. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found these tips useful.